Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to let you know that if you have a Galaxy S24 series, the One UI 6.11 is now available. So I'm going to go ahead and download this, get this installed, and then we're going to check out what we get with the new update. So let's get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed the update. Uh, just so you know, this update, if we scroll all the way down here, this is a pretty large update. So this is almost three, uh, this is almost three gigs. So it is 2,861.83 megabytes. Uh, this has the August 1st security patch. And this ends in AXH7. Uh, you will notice that the One UI version still shows 6.1. This is 6.11. Uh, just to clarify, um, this has come up quite a bit lately. On the Galaxy S series phones, they are always going to show the dot one or dot two. They're not going to show the third um, number. Those are reserved for the foldable devices. So for the um, Galaxy Z Folds, and I believe the Z Flips is where you're going to see the 6.11. Um, but just so you know, this is 6.11 for the uh, S24 Ultra. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with, there's so much here uh, under Galaxy AI. So we're going to talk about the uh, sketch to image, uh, which was first shown in the Galaxy Unpacked for the Fold 6. So what this does is this allows you to draw an image. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you here. So we'll go ahead and take our S Pen out. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go into our gallery. And let's just go ahead and find an image here. So I'm going to just take this image here. So if I wanted to add something here, what we can do is we can hit the AI option here. And now we now have this option here, the sketch to image. So now I can draw anything I want on here. And what it's going to do is it's going to use AI to generate an image of what it thinks I'm putting there. Um, so if you're not a good artist, you don't really need to worry. I have noticed in testing this out, um, it's not always accurate. So let's go ahead and uh, just, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a, I'm going to draw a cat here. Um, and like I said, I am not the best person to draw, but let's just see if, uh, what AI thinks here. All right. So we're going to hit generate. And so it's going to take a minute or two while it goes and, um, does the AI generation is trying to figure out what I drew and, oh, look at that. There's a cat. So um, kind of a big cat. If we swipe here, here's another version. So you get several different versions and you can see it realized I was trying to draw a cat. Um, so what you can do is I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one here, I kind of like this one. So we can go ahead and save a copy of that. And now we have an, a copy of this AI generated image and we can continue to edit this and add additional features if we want to. So if I go ahead and hit that AI again and do sketch to image, let's say that I want to add in, I'm going to go ahead and just add in the sun right here. Let's see if it knows this is the sun I'm trying to put in here. And we'll go ahead and generate. We'll give that just a second. See if it knows it's a sun. Um, so far it's been pretty good about the uh, AI generations. Um, so this one, I don't really see anything there. Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, see, it doesn't doesn't look like it recognizes it. So it's not going to work for everything. Uh, but this is a really cool feature that is brought to the S24 and the S series phones. Um, so you now have the sketch to image. Okay, so next up, we're going to take a look at the uh, unique portraits. Uh, so this is going to use AI to generate portrait styles. 
Um, so you can use this for a whole new look for your own profile image and contacts or somebody else's, or you can use the uh, photo editor to invent something completely new um, out of any of your photos. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Um, so the profile contact, let's go ahead and just take a look at how that works. So when you go into your phone and you go to contacts, we'll just go ahead and select mine for now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a profile card. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna get a list of all of the different things that we have in our um, gallery here in the Samsung gallery. So let me go ahead and just find a picture here real quick. Um, I will just use this one here. Okay, so we've got this picture. So now it says crop your profile card. So this is going to crop it. So this is what it'll look like uh, on the phone. And then this is what it will look like if you're on a wider screen. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now I have the ability here to change the text. Uh, I can do an effect. I also have this portrait studio. So this is what's really cool. So I'm going to select the portrait studio. And we have the ability now to do a comic, a 3D cartoon, a watercolor, or a sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and do a 3D cartoon and see what it comes up uh, with me as a 3D cartoon here. And so this will take a few minutes depending on how long it takes to generate that image. Uh, right now, AI is taking a look at that photo um, and doing its best to try and figure out what I'm going to look like as a 3D cartoon. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens here. We'll give that a minute. Oh, okay. So it says uh, that's one. Not so much. Not so much. Really not. Um, not the best we can uh, generate again. Let's see if it comes up with something different. Um, that definitely does not look like me. Uh, let's see. So, no. Mm, that's a little, little closer, kind of. Let's go ahead and jump over to comic and see what it comes up with uh, in comic. But this is really cool because you can have your own personalized profile card. Uh, and then also you can share these. This one's a little bit better. Um, doesn't actually show my facial hair though, so that's kind of strange. Uh, let's go ahead and generate again. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually share this profile card with other Samsung uh, users. Uh, this will also show up on your wearable device. If you have a Galaxy Watch Ultra, it's going to use that image as your profile image that's actually going to show up. Um, so this one's not too bad. Let's go ahead and go with this one. So now what we can do is we can actually change our text. So if we want to change the text here, we can change the text style. Uh, they've got some different styles here. We can adjust the size. Let's go here. We'll go ahead and and we can adjust the color if we want. Oh, let's go. Uh, and we've got the little color wheel here. So if we want like a specific color, let's go ahead and go with that one. And we'll select done. So now this is my new profile image. I also have effect here. So effect is going to give us, that's the original. This is a blurred version. You can do a grayscale a grayscale background. Uh, you can add color. So if I wanted to add some color here, I can add a colored background. Uh, we have the ink, pastel, oil paint, and it looks like that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the original here. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and click back and we'll click done. And so this is my new profile photo. So this is what's going to show up when I call another Samsung user on their phone or on their Galaxy wearable. So this is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one we have here. And the next one we have is uh, let your phone do the writing for you. So this is using the new AI composer, which you'll find this in your Samsung keyboard. So if you're not using the Samsung keyboard, it's not available. So make sure that you're doing that. So let's go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and go into our Gmail here and let's go to compose something. So if we go to compose something, we now have, we've got the little AI 
We're going to select that and we now have composer. And so we can actually tell it what we want to write about. We can start writing. We can select whether we want it to be an email, standard, social media, and then also the tone. So we have professional, casual, or polite. And so we'll just type something here real quick. Um, let's see. Okay, so go ahead and typed in a, something, an email here. We're going to go ahead and click Generate. And so now it's going to take what I've written and it's going to put it in a professional term uh, for email. So thank you for reaching out. Appreciate you considering me to review your product. I'm always interested in exploring new products. So I really like this. We can either copy or insert this. So if I just say Insert, we now have... There is our email that it's written for us, and then we can just go ahead and sign it and send it off. So this is really cool that you have the ability to do this. If you decide, oh, this isn't what I want, you can actually um, refine this. So let's go ahead and uh, swipe, and this will refine. So we can do a polish. We can formalize, elaborate, write a draft, or shorten. Let's say polish. I'm going to go ahead and polish this up. And so this is their version of polished. And we can say replace, and boom, it's ready to go out. So this is really cool. You can do this with your text messages, with your social media posts. Uh, so if I wanted to do a post to, say, X, I can actually use this for my post. So let me go ahead and go in here. Let's hit our AI composer. And let's go ahead and put in uh, Galaxy... Oops. And I have to say, my Galaxy Buds 3 Pro are, are the best right now. So if uh, you can see, it automatically selects its social media, and I can generate. And now what this is going to do is it's going to help me write a post. So look at that. It went in, uh, and it wrote a whole thing for me to post. Finally upgraded my earbuds, and wow, got the nice little emoji there. Noise cancellations next level. It's like the world just disappears. You can see that it just goes through and composes and comes up with something that really works. Uh, it makes it really easy to post um, social media uh, uh, on any of these platforms. Um, so you can just go ahead and insert that. And if we insert that, you can see, look, it, it even suggests your hashtags. You got everything else there. And let's just go ahead and post that. Um, Let's go ahead and just put upgrade and oops. Say earbuds and post. And that's it. And we just posted that to Twitter. So a really cool uh, feature. I'm going to um, really get a lot of use out of that. And so next we've got translating calls and more apps. So they've added the call translator. Um, so besides just in the Samsung phone app, uh, you get real-time translation in voice calling apps like Google Meet and WhatsApp. Uh, translate image text on web pages. So if you're using the Samsung internet browser, you can translate a whole web page of their text. You do have to use a Samsung internet browser, though. Uh, translate in listening mode. So this is going to be uh, part of the interpreter. And this is a uh, new listening mode that lets you translate one-way communication. Um, so like if you're in a lecture or presentation, uh, you can have it translate into whatever language you want. Uh, we have turned voice recordings into notes, uh, translate and summarize PDFs. So these are all going to be part of the Samsung Notes app. 
Uh, we have auto detect languages and voice recorder, edit voice recordings and transcripts. Uh, we have enhance your wallpaper with special weather effects. So this one's really cool. You can actually go into your um, wallpaper. So let's go ahead and just press down. We're going to go to wallpaper and style. We're going to change the wallpaper. And you now have this photo ambient. We'll select that. And then you can go ahead and go in here and let's just go ahead and pick an, uh, a picture here. Let me find one. Eh, let's use my dog. So we're going to use my dog here. So we can come in here and if we hit this little play button, it's going to um, use AI to generate. And so you can see there's an animated weather. So it's raining and now it's snowing. Uh, so if you click on here, it'll tell you based on the default location in the weather app, the photo ambient wallpaper uses AI to change your own photo to sunny, raining, or snowing, depending on the local weather. Uh, so we'll go ahead and select this. And so this is now going to be my lock screen. And so if we go to the lock screen, you can see that it's got that lock screen there. And then depending on what the weather is, it will automatically animate. So right now it's pretty warm here. So you're not going to see any rain. Um, next up, let's see, we've got the uh, create epic images. So this is where you can use live effects to bring photos to life. Uh, quickly save and share instant slow-mo clips. Create fun animated stickers and GIFs. Uh, clip what you want. Uh, we have health features, so there is a slew of health features that comes with Galaxy AI. Uh, so you get the energy score, uh, sleep analysis, um, new insights to stay motivated. You can share your health and data, um, health data with your family. Uh, you can make your own workout routine, so that's pretty cool. It's new. Um, you can connect to cycling power meters for production uh, to be more productive. They've got suggested actions for smart select, enhanced multi-window experience, easier file copying and moving, create file shortcuts on the home screen, improve thumbnail image display, highlight your schedule, automate your watch with modes and routines, and more message filtering options. So going back to the um, smart select. So if we swipe over here on the edge, you'll see that this is the new smart select option. And so when we select this now, it's actually using AI. And so what we can do is we can just tap and select what we want. So now we've selected some text. So I can extract the text, I can share it, I can add a note. So if I wanna add a note to this, it opens up into the Samsung Notes app and I could put a quick note in here. If we go back, you'll see that I'm in the um, Notes app now. If we want to, let's go ahead and go to a, let's just open up a web page here. Uh, there we go. We'll just open up the Google store, for instance. So let's say we wanted to um, smart select on here. So let's say I wanted to select the phones and go, oh, these look pretty interesting. So if I click the three dots here, I can sketch the image, I can pin it, I can edit, I can download, I can share, I can copy it. So all these different features that you now have available. Let's do just kind of sketch the image and see what happens here. We'll just draw a smiley face on here. Uh, so this says draw objects smaller or closer together. So it doesn't like where I drew this. So let's just go back here. We'll erase that. And let's just go ahead and put a little smiley face on the phone. And so now what that's going to do is it should use AI to generate a smiley face and give us some options of what it thinks we want. So it actually put a face, which is interesting. It put a nose. Oh, so what it's doing is it's actually adding a face to the phone, which is kind of funny. Uh, interesting. So there's the original. It added a face onto the phone. This actually turned the phone into a face uh, as well as here. So you can save this or you can um, hit this to do a new drawing. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I'm not going to actually save that. Um, but that is the uh, smart select option. 
even more improvements. So we went over uh, designing and sharing your profile card, which we talked about. Um, skim through videos quickly. You can do this through the video player app. So if you hold down the right side of the screen, uh, that goes forward five seconds. If you hold down the left, it goes back five seconds. Uh, answer calls with a tap instead of a swipe. So if you can't swipe on your screen, you can just tap the phone. Um, that'll answer the calls. You can also answer calls using the speaker, um, all calls. So if you want to do hands-free, you can do that. Uh, you get the updates for the weather. So stay prepared for southern weather changes. So this is the weather information now automatically updates at least once every hour to make sure that you have the latest forecast. There's extra strong security that's been added and some enhanced assistant menu options. So as you can see, there is a lot here. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. I will be doing a top 10 Galaxy AI features to use on the new One UI 611 on your Galaxy S24 Ultra. Consider subscribing to our channel and always click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos get uploaded. As always, appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in our next video.